Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play. My name is Enger today. It should be episode 13. Wait. I feel like... I feel like we already did 13. Yeah, we did we make like an anti-death machine or something? Did that happen? I don't remember. It feels super hazy. Honestly, I'm not sure. Let's go check. So, I think I did it down there, down like the main lobby area. Let's just real quick see if it's there. Yeah. I guess I never made that episode. Alright, maybe I should just restart. So hello everyone, welcome back to the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play. This should be episode 13, might be 14, I don't know. <laughs> but welcome. I figured I'd take a break from all the building and stuff, because we've been doing uh, so much of that lately, to be honest, and just try to try to get started on uh, getting to the end, getting on some work done. And fortunately, we live right next to a swamp uh, and a desert. Actually, maybe we should go there. Uh, but I was thinking of trying to get some ender pearls uh, and then finding the end portal soon. Also, slimes are nice. I've been recently I've been doing a lot of stuff on my SMP world. Uh, grinding a lot of new farms and such. I made some cool kelp farms, a new slime farm. Uh, I made zero tick sugarcane and bamboo farms, which are all cool. I don't know. I'm just I'm getting inspired. Uh, so I'd like some slime so I can get started on some of those. Uh, and obviously, on the SMP, I have shulker boxes and all that fancy jazz, and that would be really nice to have here, uh, so I could actually get started on some good stuff. You know, maybe even get a beacon so I can start digging stuff out. Can you not? I am trying to talk here. But yeah, I just thought I'd take a more chill approach uh, to this episode, just because I've been pretty busy, pretty chaotic lately. In the last episode I recorded, or maybe that was the dream weird episode where nothing happened, I don't know. Um, I got a new computer, uh, and I tried to record 1080p 60fps. Um, I did record it in that, but I, I didn't render the video in 60fps, so that was unfortunate. Uh, but now I know how to do that. <laughs> I made sure to, to render in this video in 60fps. Uh, so finally, we're there. Actually, real quick, before we start grinding for pearls, I'm gonna go try to throw looting on James the Sword here. Uh, because maybe that might help us. Okay, James the Sword here, looting, brilliant. And you know, while we're here, let's just, uh, there we go. Oh, perfect, just in time, there is an Enderman. So, let's just do something like this. I'm here. Oh, don't burn to death. No! Oh well. They still got a pearl. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. What are the odds that that would freaking happen? Get here, dude. Okay, we got him. Nice. Oh, we got four pearls from that, too. Definitely worth it. I've done a lot of uh, audio mixing and stuff, so hopefully everything's okay. Boosted my mic, um, which means I can put the game volume higher. Uh, so, yeah. A lot of testing. Most of it's been in stream so far, but I haven't had any complaints. You know, now that I have a new computer, uh, I've always wondered uh, if it was a myth or whatnot. Uh, that this max frame rate limited thing, if it works, um, like, okay, that that's not what I mean. What I mean is, people say it's a rumor that the human eye can't detect more than, like, 30 FPS. So let's lower it to 30. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a lie. Uh, 60 FPS. Right, that's better. That's what you guys can see, so everything's pretty much makes sense there. But when I pop it up to unlimited, I don't know if you can tell any difference, but I definitely can. So yeah, that that little myth of the human eye can detect only 30 FPS, that is that is a load of bullcrap. 
Also, I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but in the last few episodes, this guy's just been standing there. He, he's he's found a new home. Uh, I think he's even in the intro to the series now <laughs> because he's just been standing there so long. And I guess he can't despawn because of that item in his hand. Uh, so, do you guys think we should give him a name? Maybe keep him in a cage up there? That'd be kind of fun. Might as well do a little bit of building work just because we can. I'm just gonna throw in some, like, windows, polish up this area. You know, I really need to do a little bit more work off camera. The same way I do on my SMP, I constantly go on there and I constantly just grind. And it's because I have all those resources. It isn't really that my SMP is active, it's really not. It's mostly just single player that I can show off to other people. <laughs> but that's what this is too. Uh, so I, I do really want to just get a little bit more advanced. Uh, hit the end, get the shulker boxes, uh, get the things I need, uh, just so that I don't have to. I don't keep I don't keep tricking myself and going on the SMP thinking I'm doing work and progress and stuff. Um, when I could be doing it here, making videos, and you know, being a YouTuber and whatnot. So yeah, should probably keep that up. Otherwise. Gonna have to make the SMP a series of some kind. Which I... I always try to tell- what the heck? I'm always thinking of making the SMP, the Coastal SMP, a series of some kind. But it wouldn't be traditional because it's in the middle of... It's in the middle of the season, and season. It's in the middle of the SMP, so it wouldn't feel like a fresh new series, which is mainly the reason why I won't do it. As long as we're talking about series, actually, I have a new one coming out it's right now. Uh, the One Heart Challenge. I'm trying to make it a thing uh, that I keep doing every week, what, uh, week to week. Currently, I'm trying to do it one episode every other day, uh, which I'm not sure how long that's going to last. But the idea is that um, I'm going to go on, record for about 20 minutes, make that a, an episode of my attempt at the one heart challenge which is basically just beating minecraft with uh, only one heart um it's gonna it's gonna take m multiple attempts i'm sure uh, to get there but i really want to do it this is harder than i think uh fighting it in, in a field of mobs that's that's a little bit more <laughs> strange i think it died from the fire Oh shoot, I didn't expect my shield to break. Rip shield, that's been with us forever. Aw. I don't, even, I don't even get to kill the enemy who broke it. He seemed to have died somewhere else. You know, that shield breaking thing does teach me a little bit about that one heart challenge. I gotta make sure I have multiple shields on me in case an enderman breaks one. Uh, while I'm trying to kill him. Because those things are lifesavers. Okay, uh, second night total brings us up to 12 ender pearls. Pretty good. <gasps> no! What have I done? <laughs> I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. I just went to shoot. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we have an ender pearl in here. Uh, that's good, I guess. So, 13. So we want this to expand up to about here, so maybe one more level after this, uh, and then that'll be that. Now something I noticed here, we do have the staircase start from all the way down there, but this level is almost on par <laughs> with like the level here. Um, so we may need to kind of adjust it, so that there's just a smaller staircase here, maybe like a smaller like slope up. Uh, rather than the staircase be all the way down there because now it doesn't really make sense to have this go all the way up here <laughs> so yeah whoa they all just spawn they did i think we just witnessed these guys spawn and then this guy's suffocating in a wall oh my god ah <sighs> these things spawn way too much i've said it before i'll say it again I hate them. I hate everything about this stupid pillager raid party thing. I had one spawn on my villager breeder the other day. 
and it just instantly triggered a raid. I was kind of, kind of annoyed. But that was on my SMP. It's kind of obvious. Anyway, yeah, it's night time. Let's go kill things. There's nothing freaking spawning this night. Don't know what it is. Alright, well, so to left turn right three is 14 ender pearls. You know what's funny? When I first created the storage system, uh, <laughs> I I said I might have to decrease the amount of chests because it was still it was so laggy. Um and now I'm still getting a pretty good amount of frames in this room. I just took a screenshot on accident, my bad. Oops. Uh but yeah, we're <laughs> not even lagging at all. Uh, so it, it's funny to me that I thought I'd have to change it, but yeah, cool. So we still have a lot of room, uh, a lot of room, a lot of work to do in this room, uh, and I'm not sure how exactly I'm gonna do it because I'm not exactly sure how I want this room to look or what I want this room to be. My idea when I made this floor was that this would be this kind of area would be huge main storage. Uh, but I could also have like my most common, most essential stuff hidden behind here. Um, so I'd still have this kind of layout, but it wouldn't be... Um, you wouldn't have things like uh, missed blocks, food, or maybe you would have... You would have food. You'd have things just basically like food, basic tools, and then like a random chest. Then I could throw anything in. And we still need to build one of these... Oh, what? Enderman? In the middle of the day? I don't mind if I do. Hello, sir. Do you care if I look at you in the day? You do. Is he gonna attack me again? He is! Okay. I thought these guys acted strangely during the day. Like they wouldn't attack you. But I guess if you look at them, they will. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. That's that's actually what I wanted. I wanted just over a stack. Or, well, I wanted one stack, exactly, but... 17. That's perfect. We should be able to find the stronghold now. Uh, so... Yeah, let's go to the nether, get those eyes of ender. Maybe locate the stronghold, too, while we're at it. Okay, I don't have a shield. This is probably a bad idea. Looks <laughs> like the blaze kill did not go out <laughs> Oh my gosh, what? I got a skull! Cool. Uh, this one third of the way to the withered, too. Uh... That isn't so cool. Well, it is pretty bizarre. I spawned in there, it was just beyond the village there. Um, but yeah, we got everything we needed to make the Eyes of Ender, so let's go ahead and do that. Cool. We got 16 of them. Uh, and now I guess we can go ahead and find our way. So where's it lead us? I... Did you see it? I didn't. Oh, there we go. It's leading us this way. Let's go this way then. Obviously we're not going to be going to the end in this episode. I'm definitely not equipped for that. Um, well, not right now anyway. I have the armor and stuff. But yeah, uh, and like I said, I may have said this in a previous episode, but uh, when we do go to the end, I'm going to be saving a backup, because I know that it's possible to, as soon as you jump in the end, your dragon's like right there, and it'll knock you in the void, and I don't want that, so we're going to save a backup just in case uh, something bad happens. Alright, now seems as good a spot as any. Okay, I think we're taking a little bit of a turn to the to the left then. I'm pretty sure this is kind of the area where I first spawned in the world. Uh not exactly sure. I don't think it I don't think it's the exact spot, but it's pretty close now. Let's toss it. Oh, okay, we went too far. Every time I see cows now, from a distance I start to think of villagers because they share the same colors. Uh, that seems to freak me out a little. Anyway. Okay, still too close. Okay, somewhere in the middle is about here. Okay, I think it just went under. So that means we're right above the stronghold. Go ahead and mark the cords here with a screenshot, maybe. And okay, well, thank you everyone for watching.
latest episode of the Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play. We'll be getting into some stronghold shenanigans, uh, possibly in the next episode. Uh, so yeah, uh, we've got a little stuff to- okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not good at outros, you can tell. <laughs> so yeah, uh, see ya. Thank you.